welcome to the Red Pegasus Podcast. Now, here are your hosts, Martin Garcia and Darian Clark. Well, it is another short edition of the Red Pegasus Podcast. <laughs> Today's is going to be special. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Love's in the air. <laughs> Love is in the air tonight. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go into a little bit of a bracket involving the most loved celebrities in the world. Mm. Most of them in America. Let's be real here. <laughs> but it does branch out here and there. So I, I, along with my wife, must give her credit, accumulated a list of 32 participants of just universally liked people in Hollywood. And beyond. Martin, do you want to go 1 through 32 or do you just want to hit the bracket and, and just hit people with by surprise going one one um, matchup at a time? Yeah, I'd say we just go ahead and uh, do the matchup. Just hit him. Go yeah. for it. Okay. But real quick, like you said earlier, yeah. shouts out to the wifeys, both the wifeys. Always coming at us with different sort of ideas and topics oh, yeah. for the podcast. Yep. We very much appreciate all the help. So Absolutely. Thank you wouldn't Thank be able to do this if it wasn't for their support. It was good. And you guys definitely had uh, trouble setting the ranking for these uh, celebrities. because It was tough. I was like, dude, how are you going to put this person here? But I was like, ah, but I can see because this person here. Yeah. So this, this was tough, I'm sure, for, uh, for y'all to put together. But let's go ahead and do it. Yeah. So you may hey, think you like. You already advanced two people today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've got like a live action uh, bracket here, and Darian's already advanced two people. I just know who's going to win. Even got... <laughs> but you may be wondering, like, honestly, when the rankings come into play, you may be wondering, dude, how did he come up with those rankings? I ranked them kind of by like popularity, relevancy to today. Yeah. And then there's like um, overall morale, like if they're in, on the scene often and how are they on the scene? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's like if they're not on the scene as much, they might have a lower ranking. Mm. For example, Queen Elizabeth is on this list, Oof. but relevancy isn't high, and she wasn't really on the scene a lot in the last, you know, 10 years of her life, so right. she's a little bit lower, whereas she could be the most loved person on this entire list, Yeah, but she fell down a little bit in the rankings because of those reasons. Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Cool. On to the first matchup, the number one seed, Tom Hanks, <laughs> against the number 32 seed, Alex Trebek. Oh, <laughs> this is one where I was like, damn, we put Alex Trebek last in? Yeah, I, was, I mean. Hmm. I was like, okay, all right. And uh, I feel like I already know who you're going for here. These are the ones you mentioned <laughs> that have already advanced. I don't see you picking number 32, but I actually I need was going to pick the number 32. You're joking. I know, I promise you. No I don't way. like Tom Hanks, dude. Are you serious? Yeah. He's got why a didn't bad you taste tell in my me, mouth. Why didn't you tell me before? He can't be a number one seed if somebody gotta, in the world doesn't like it. It's going to cause some conflict at the beginning of the episode. Oh if not, word. it's going to be too easy getting through all these. Are you for real? Yeah, I'm going right. to go with Alex Trebek. Okay, we got to call somebody for a tiebreaker. You know what? I feel like I'm going to lose this because I feel like <laughs> a lot of our friends probably don't know who Alex Trebek is. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Again, that's why he fell to 32. <laughs> you're right. You're relevancy, right. popularity isn't you're really right. as high. And Tom then Hanks, lost what, Tom Hanks. What Why was don't you he? Love Buzz Lightyear? Gump? No, he was Woody. Oh, yeah. Come on. He was Tom. Oh. It was Forrest Gump. Oh, yeah. Castaway. Come on. How do you not like Listen, the guy? Listen, okay, actually, you know what? I feel like everybody loves Tom Biases Hanks. Biases aside, biases aside, yes, I do believe Tom Hanks is more favorable than Alex Trebek. Okay. You're right. So you're voting for him. Yeah. I too am I let my bias control okay. me. The number one seed moves on, rightfully so. <laughs> Enough of the controversy. Moving on. Number 16 versus number 17. Queen Elizabeth against Matthew McConaughey. All right. I feel like there's a little bit of bias in this here for you. You know my vote. What's your vote? <laughs> <laughs> well, seeing as... And no, I'm British, just I'm just British folk. I did not put my favorite person of all time up against your favorite person of all time. <laughs> It just how the rankings fell. I didn't mean to do this on purpose. This is just how the rankings fell. I did not look at the bracket when coming into conclusions. I promise. Listen, the U.S. is one and zero against England. They're about to be two and zero right now because I'm gonna go with Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> okay, boom. Thank you. 
By okay. the way, those were the first two that Darian had already advanced. Tom Hanks and Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey, I already saw it coming. But geez, Tom Hanks already. You didn't even give the Jeopardy host a uh, fighting chance. You're like, oh, yeah, whatever. Man. Oh, rest in peace. Okay, moving on. Next matchup. Ooh. Ooh. Robin Williams. Wow. The number eight seed against the number 25 seed, Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what a matchup this is. This is um This is a close one. It's I'm gonna tough. have to go with Robin Williams. I too am going with Robin Williams. Yeah. Mother Teresa's very loved. Um, but yeah, just not up there like Robin Williams is. I mean, Mrs. Doubtfire, Flubber. Remember that movie? Flubber, dude. <laughs> yes. Goodwill hunting. Goodwill hunting. Yes, dude, um, greatness. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Comedian too. A great, great stand up yeah, comedian. Great gone too soon. Yep. <clears throat> Next matchup here is uh, number nine seed Denzel Washington against number twenty four seed Bob Ross. Ooh, again a very similar matchup, right? I mean, Denzel's well loved, like Robin Williams is. Bob Ross, while he is well loved and appreciated, and not as relevant as Mother Teresa. My vote goes to Denzel. Oh, you're going Denzel. Mm-hmm. Dang, this is hard because Denzel. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think I have seen some I'm not I'm not trying to bash this guy. All right, I'm just trying to explain my reasoning here. Yep, yep. I think I've seen some bad things about not bad things but bad things said about Denzel Washington. Really? Bob Ross on the other hand, I feel like I only hear good things about Bob Ross. Yeah. Or it's just like, oh man, remember back in the day PBS Channel 13? You have a point. Watching the dude stroke one <laughs> Pulling out the phone. I'm ready to call <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to go with Bob Ross on okay. this one. Okay. All right. I feel like he is definitely more favorable than okay. Denzel. One eternity later. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, Bert. What up? What's going on, bro? We're currently recording a podcast, and I need your input. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> so you're live on air, so please don't say anything controversial, any cuss words, anything like that, okay? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. We're doing a bracket of the most universally liked people in the world. We're Martin and I are currently at a tie. The number nine seed Denzel Washington against the number twenty four seed Bob Ross. Who gets your vote and why? Uh, yeah, that's tough. <laughs> See, that was a tough one. I knew it. I guess that's why we're tied, but and I can't say anything controversial because. Oh, controversial. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Am I wrong for saying Denzel? Oh, no, you're not wrong. That's what I went with. So sweet. My guy moves on. Sorry, Martin. <laughs> All right. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> sweet. Appreciate your love and support, Bert. I do think Bob is under. He's undervalued. He is. That's a good perspective. I see it. Definitely Nobody needed. Talks about the arts, you know? Nobody gets that big. And Zilla at least has a bigger platform. Mm, that's a good you point. I took it back. I'm going to go Bob. <laughs> oh, what? He took it back. The first upset of the bracket. Number 24 seed against number 9 seed. Bob Ross moves on. Bert, you are very much appreciated, valued. Thank you for your time. I'll talk to you soon. Love you, brother. Bye. That's my stuff, dude. Even though he voted for Bob Ross, that's Bob still messed Ross up. Moved on. <laughs> oh, I'm telling man. you, dude, underestimating. Hey, I respect it. I respect and it. And Denzel, as far as I know, hasn't come out with anything new. There's a documentary out about Bob Ross on Netflix. I'm just saying. Mm. Right now, it's out. True. Just saying. It's very true. All right. Number 24 seed, Bob Ross moves on. I don't All see right. a documentary about Denzel Washington. You're true. Sure, you're right. <laughs> Documentaries matter. <laughs> <laughs> number four seed, The Rock, against number 29 seed, George Clooney. Oh, this is a tough one, too. Pretty good matchup. I think for the older generation, no hard feelings there, they would probably go for George Clooney. I'm going to go with yeah. The Rock. I grew up with The Rock wrestling. Mm. I'm going to have to go with him. I think he's more uh, favorable. I'm going with The Rock as well. Number four seed moves on in that matchup. It was a few years back. He was actually voted from a pretty acclaimed newspaper that he was the most likable person really yeah 
I saw it online when I was looking for this. I don't blame it, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of hate The Rock because of how nice he is. Because it's like, how can you be that nice? Like, right. There's got to be something underneath there. <clears throat> yeah. Some, something's hiding and it's going to come out one day. I know it. All right. We're getting into the needy greedy. Number 13 seed Keanu Reeves against number 20 seed George Strait, the king of country. Yeah, I might have my Texas card revoked here, but I'm going to go with Keanu Reeves. Oh. I know. I know, but got to be said. I, too, am going with Keanu Reeves. And he's forgive me. In. Gods of Texas, forgive me. <laughs> Gods of Texas. He's just on the scene more, you know? George he Strait, is. he's known as a good guy, nice guy, but have you seen him mm. in on the front of the public before? I haven't. I haven't, unless he's I, on the stage singing. I haven't been to a George Strait concert, but I have been to a Keanu Reeves movie. Oh, okay. Mm. I like the perspective. Moving on, next matchup, we have number five, Betty White, Ooh. against number 28, Carrie Underwood. Oh, Betty White. I think this is one of those where Betty White is going through the uh, the finish line pretty easily. You've put the words straight into my mouth, Martin. Betty White moves <laughs> on. As I'm thinking about it, she's kind of underranked here. She very well could have been the number one seed. She, Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> even though it is top five, but yeah, definitely. All right, next matchup we hear... We have here is uh, two legends in the comedy film industry. This is good, too. Number 12, Will Ferrell against number 21, Danny DeVito. Oh, uh, listen, Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Don't go, don't go there, Martin. Don't, don't, don't. don't try to Danny make a case DeVito for this guy. is great and always sunny in Philadelphia. Great, great show overall. Great character. Yep. I'm going to have to go with the kicking and screaming coach himself, <laughs> Will Ferrell. I, too, am going to have to go with the elf, Will Ferrell. Moves on in a landslide for me. Next matchup here, number two seed, Morgan Freeman, against number 31, Adele. <laughs> um, You know what? I'm going to go Morgan Freeman because Adele has gotten into some uh, some trouble because of her Las Vegas residency mm. and skipping out on concerts. She might not be as favorable anymore. That might bring her likableness down for sure. I too am going Morgan Freeman. He moves on. Next matchup is number 15, Hugh Jackman, against number 18, Oprah. Oh, dude. I'm going to have to go Oprah on this. Whoa. Yeah. Man. I'm going to have to. I know you're going Hugh. As much as I want to, I'm with you. I'm going Oprah. <laughs> Ooh, Oprah coming through. Oprah, Oprah moves on. Oprah with the upset. I love Hugh Jackman, but that was a good matchup. That next, was a good one. Next one here is number seven, Shaq, against number 26, Dennis Quaid. Okay. Two very, right. very likable people. This is good. I'm telling you, dude. And if you're listening to this and you're like, this matchup is not that close, like, shut up. Yeah. This is a very close matchup up and down the bracket. I'm going to have to go with Shaq. Dude's a DJ. Dude is always having fun. Every, I honestly think everyone loves Shaq. Yeah, absolutely. Dude just moved to the Metroplex, too. That's He's a true. Texan now. That's true. Love Shaq. Good dude. He Funny might dude. be living in South Lake with that $700,000 uh, <laughs> home. He might be. How about this matchup? Number 10, Mr. Rogers Ooh. against number 23, Paul Rudd. Dude. All right. Um... Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Would you be mine? I'm going to have to go with Paul Rudd. Oh! The Ant-Man himself. Man! That dude's funny. <clears throat> he was the hardest person to rank on this list for me. Paul Rudd? Or... I don't know why, but he just was. Paul Rudd. But I'm going to go with Mr. Rogers. Dang. Mr. Really? Nice Man himself. Has a documentary about him. Oh, your point right there has a movie about him Ooh. who, by the way, plays him as Tom Hanks. And there's a kid's show reflected of his show, Daniel True. Tiger. Yeah. Don't ask me why I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having Mr. Rogers move on, which brings us to a tiebreaker. All I'm right. Set a marker, Martin. Figure out who to call next. Got it. Hello. Hey, Preston. Yes. All right, so we're doing a bracket right now. Most favorable people, celebrities, I guess, really, is what we're going after. And we're, uh, we hit a tie. So 
though, Darian thinks Mr. Rogers is more favorable than Paul Rudd. What do you uh what what's your choice here? Are you going with Paul Rudd or are you going with Mr. Rogers? Mr. Rogers is the more wholesome man, but Paul Rudd for my love you man just has stolen my heart. So I'm gonna go with Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd for the, the upset. win. Ant Man himself. <laughs> oh. Ant Man himself. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks for taking time uh, to answer this question and uh, break our tie. Very good. Bye, Preston. (laughs) (laughs) Later. (laughs) Preston uh, took a little little sidebar with the judge there while he was in court uh, to answer our very (laughs) important question. (laughs) Who was uh, more favorable? Co-owner of Crossbar Soccer and Beer. Where you chill, play every day. You will probably see him here because he's just about always here. Oh, yeah. Okay, moving on. Next match up here is the number three seed, Dolly Parton, mm. against number 30 seed, Harrison Ford. All right. Legends in their games, These respectively. Are, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, this matchup is just tough. <laughs> and we're barely, what, round 16? Round, yeah. Um, yep. Oof. Let's see. I am going to go... Dolly Parton. Me too, you aren't. Oh, okay. Good. That was close. You had me nervous there for no, a second. We have to call another person. Dude, I, I, I thought, <laughs> dude, we're running out of people to call. It's in the middle of the day. People have jobs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I thought you were going with Harrison Ford for a second because of Han Solo. Or, yeah. But dude, he is a, a legend. But man, Dolly Parton, name a person who doesn't like Dolly Parton. I know, seriously. Yeah. She just does good. I yeah. mean, that foundation she has where. Uh, mm. Where she's like sending people to college yep. and from her hometown. Yep, I yep. think that only happened one year. But anyways, she does a lot. Yep, she sure does. Fantastic. Uh, next matchup here, we have number 14, Steve Martin against number 19, Jack Black. All right. Uh, I'm going to go Jack Black. This is easy for me. Me too. Easy upset right there. I feel like. Uh, Sorry, Steve is, Martin. <laughs> you yeah, got the wrong matchup in the first round. This is one of those where like I feel like the older generation probably would have said Steve Martin. but mm, Yeah. I'm gonna have to go Jack Black. <clears throat> he's a the he's king a great of rock himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Forget about Elvis. Next matchup here we have is number six Steve Irwin against number oh. twenty seven Julia Roberts. I I feel like this is easy for me, uh, and I feel like this is easy for a lot of people. Steve yeah. Irwin. Yep. I, I said his name weird first. Steve Irwin. I I agree because after his death, I don't think I've seen as many people uh, that have come out and said that they're going to beat up a stingray because of what happened. Yep. Honestly, he could have been higher, but uh, Steve Irwin, number six moves on. Good. Good stuff. The last matchup here in the round of 32, Ooh. 11 seed Eddie Murphy against number 22, Reese Witherspoon. All right. All right. Um, You know what? I'm going to go Eddie Murphy. Me too, Martin. I was like, why are you starting with you know what? Are you going with her? I was about to say. <laughs> Dude, Reese Witherspoon and Big Little Lies. Come on, dog. She is good. She is good. She is great. But Eddie Murphy, man. Even better. One of the greatest comedians ever. Ever. Should we move on to round two? Yeah. The let's round move of on 16. Round two. Okay, starting from the top. Number one, Tom Hanks against number 17, Matthew McConaughey. Ooh, this is going to be tough for you. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, well, I'm going to go Matthew because I already was iffy about Tom Hanks. So I'm just going to go Matthew McConaughey. And I honestly think people like Matthew McConaughey more than they like Tom Hanks. Gosh, you're not even looking. Meow, 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 breaking news. Matthew McConaughey with the upsets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it looks like that was easier. Than I love I you, Tom Hanks, but Matthew McConaughey. Mm, man, I ranked him too low. All right, number seventeen upsets number one. Man, in the most likable person bracket, Matthew, uh, Matthew McConaughey moves on. Next matchup in the round of sixteen, second round, number eight, Robin Williams against number twenty-four, Bob Ross. I'm gonna go Robin. Thank you. Me yeah. too. Number eight, that was seed, a no-brainer. Robin Williams moves on. Mrs. Doubtfire, her himself. How would you say that, Martin? Um, he, her. Hello, himself. hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, next matchup, number four, The Rock against number thirteen, Keanu Reeves. I feel like there's another easy one, The Rock. Yep, me too. I I'm right like, there with you. Yeah, The Rock moves on. Oh, this one's I tough. like it. I like it. Oh, this is tough. This Next matchup here is number five, Betty White against number 12, Will Ferrell. 
Listen, I want to say Will Ferrell, but I think Betty White beats Will Ferrell on this. As hard as it is for me, I agree with you. <laughs> Betty White moves on. You know, I've known people in the past not to like Will Ferrell. Yeah? They're like, he's a try hard, a little uh, bit too much. Really? Yeah. I can but for that too reason, much. I'm going Betty White. I have never heard a bad thing about her or a bad Same. thing come out of her mouth. Everybody loves him some Betty White. I, I say Betty White because every year before she sadly passed away, mm -hmm. every year, everyone was worried about her passing away. I mm -hmm. mean, she literally went viral every year. Yep. Like, <gasps> oh, wait, okay. Someone's just making a funny. She yep. didn't really pass away. Yep. I see that. Next matchup in the round of, in the second round, round of 16, number mm -hmm. two, Morgan Freeman against number 18, Oprah. Oprah, I'm sorry. But you do not get a W this round. Yeah, you you upset Hugh Jackman last round. You're not going to get another upset for me either. Morgan Freeman moves yeah. on. Yeah, Morgan Freeman definitely. I think more likable. Yep. Agree. Next matchup, number seven, Shaq <laughs> against number twenty three, Paul Rudd. Um, I'm going to go same decision I went last time, Shaq. Okay. I think uh, Shaq is definitely more favorable compared to Paul Rudd. Yeah. Paul Rudd is likable, but he's got a very smaller group compared to Shaq. I see. Yep. That's a good, that's a good point. there. I am too. I'm voting for Shaq to move on. Number three, Dolly Parton against number 19, Jack Black. Ooh. This is getting harder We're and getting harder. down to the nitty gritty here. I'm going to go Jack Black. Mm. <laughs> oh. Martin. Mm. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm going to say Dolly. I thought you for sure was going for Dolly. <laughs> I'm going I with Dolly. Okay. Which brings us to another tiebreaker. All right. Caller coming up next. Hello? Yo, Nate. What's up? What are you doing? I'm at the new building with Mother and Pops. Oh, I see you. Well, hey, real quick. I need your help here. Okay. We're recording a podcast right now. It's a bracket of the 32 most likable people in the planet. We okay. are at a tie right now. Martin... Martin chose Jack Black. I chose Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, the three seed. Jack Black, the 19 seed. Who gets your vote? Oh, man. That's a tough one. I don't know, dude. Well, you got to choose. Jack Black. I don't know. It's not an option. Funny. So, out of two, just like, is this my opinion or is this like as far as what anyone else would think? However, you decide to vote. You go. You go for it, brother. America. Nacho Libre was too great. It's got to be Jack Black. For oh, that's what I'm talking about. Jack Nacho Black. Libre for the clutch. Oh, man. Okay. I respect it. I'll let you go, brother. You got an upset there, huh? That's right. Sure did. 19 knocked off number three. <laughs> Dang. Appreciate your love and support. We'll talk to you later. All right, yeah. All right, yeah. Thanks, brother. Peace. See my brother, in the, my mother in the background. Shut off the breaker. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Number oh, nineteen, man. Jack Black knocks off number three, Dolly Parton. That was good. I think there's a little bias on who you called, but whatever. Definitely. We'll roll with it. Definitely. Something tells me Nathan isn't much of a Dolly Parton fan yeah. to begin with. <laughs> Something tells you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it just hey, it depends on whoever answers, man. True. We're calling tons of people over here, and nobody's answering, so. There you have it. Jack Black moves on. You're you welcome. bums. Stop working. Nacho Libre, School of Rock. Man, greatness. Um, Next matchup here is number six, Steve Irwin against number 11, Eddie Murphy. Ooh. This is a pretty tough one. This is pretty tough. Mm, I am going to go, coming out of my mouth right now, is Eddie Murphy. Dang it. Uh, I wanted to go Steve Irwin. With all my might. <clears throat> Are you going Eddie? I am going Eddie Murphy. Okay, good. He's so good, man. Love me some Eddie Murphy. Moving on to round three. Eight people remain. Semifinals. Not quite, Martin. Right. Quarter round, round three, you're right. Yes. yes. Yep. Uh, number 17, Matthew McConaughey against number eight, Robin Williams. <sighs> Ooh. Big. This is tough. Big I'm going to go. You know what? I'm just going to name all these at the top of my head. The first name I think of, McConaughey. McConaughey it is. Moving on for me, too. You can't beat the number one seed and then lose to the eight. You know yeah, what I mean? You, yeah. You, if you're going to go on a roll, you got to go on a roll. All right. Big matchup here. Man, this is tough. Yeah. Big matchup here. 
Number four, The Rock against number five, Betty White. The Rock. The Rock for you? Yep. Difficult, Martin. I know. Making this real difficult on me. I'm going with Betty White. Ooh. I can't. I can't go against her. I said The Rock because he recently went back to that convenience store in Hawaii where yeah. he repaid his debt from selling the chocolate bar. You're convincing I feel like me. He won a lot of hearts that day. You're convincing me. That's a that's a big move. That's covering your tracks a long time ago. Go on the rock. <laughs> covering your tracks a long time ago. The rock moves on. Mm. Next matchup, number two seed Morgan Freeman against number seven, Shaq. Shaq. God. Oh. <sighs> doing it to me. You're doing it. <laughs> why? Oh why? <laughs> Morgan Freeman's God. Bruce Almighty. He is literally God <laughs> and Bruce Almighty. You're right. Dude, I just feel like people love Shaq. I know. You're people right. People love him. You're right. You're right. I'm telling you. I'm going to go with the general public. Shaq moves on. Yeah, that Nathan was brought up a good point. Like, are we voting this based on our own preferences or the world? I would say the world because, like I said, I was going to say Alex Trebek, but I ended up going with Tom Hanks. You think the world would vote McConaughey over Tom Hanks? Oh, that's a good question. See, I mean, All right, little where do our qualities here. lie here, Martin? Listen, Tom Hanks had to go, okay? Okay. <laughs> next next matchup here to close out the quarterfinals. Number 19, Jack Black against number 11, Eddie Murphy. Two big upsets in the last round with these two. Who's going to move on for you? I'm going to say Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Me too. I'm going to say Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Are you saying it just to say it, or are you saying it because we don't have people to call? No, no, no. I can come up with people to call if I need to. I'm going with Eddie Murphy. Bigger repertoire. More popular. More funny. Yeah, I think think he's more more of a people person. The the semifinals. Matthew McConaughey, The Rock, Shaq, Eddie Murphy. We move on. with The Rock. The Rock over Matthew McConaughey? I'm going back into the perspective of the... uh, I can't. I can't do it. I'm not wow, going against Matthew McConaughey. Really? I'm not going against Matthew McConaughey. Okay. Everything that comes out of his mouth, everyone's like oh, sobbing over it. You know what I mean? All right. Everyone loves the guy. Okay. So I got to find someone to call. One second. So we kind of maybe sort of uh, ran out of people to uh, call. Like we said, we're recording in the middle of the day. People have jobs. People need to make money. Totally understand. Again, we are recording at Crossbar. If we love this place. They uh, hopefully love us. Um, but, uh, we do have people at crossbar here. Don't, I don't think many of them know that we're here recording. Um, so Darian right now just went to the uh, bar area to see if anyone over there wants to chime in and see, uh, who is the most favorable celebrity right now. We have Matthew McConaughey and the rock. That's a tiebreaker right now. I chose the rock Darian and his love for Matthew. It goes out of this world, and Darian chose Matthew over The Rock. I'm trying to not be biased other than earlier, when we were playing earlier. Uh, I'm not trying to be biased. I think I honestly think The Rock is more favorable than uh, than Matthew McConaughey, but uh, okay. we'll see. Oh, oh, you just asked him? I'm here to bring the news back. Oh, they didn't want to come on? No. <laughs> they didn't want to come on. They just told me right then and there, without hesitation, The Rock moves on. All right, there you go. Told you. Tom comes up and is like, do you remember what Matthew McConaughey did with Austin FC? Yeah, he, that dude's a, a D-bag. So I'm like, okay. What did he do with Austin FC? I don't really know. I couldn't understand him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom would have voted freaking uh, Queen Elizabeth, too. She'd, right. she'd be making it to the semifinals. Right, it's true. Love you, Tom. No hard feelings. The Rock moves on to the championship. All right. All right, other semifinal matchup is Shaq against Eddie Murphy. Uh, number seven against number 11. I'm still going Shaq. I am too. I think, dude, just Shaq is everywhere. Shaq That's... moves on. Dude, how is this possible? The two biggest dudes in this bracket are in the championship. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that has something to say. <laughs> that has something to say. The bigger you are, the more lovable you are. <laughs> the championship. That is too funny. Number four seed, number The four Rock. And seven. Against number seven, Shaq. But wow. before we do that, let's determine who wins third place. Got number it. 17, Matthew McConaughey against number 11, Eddie Murphy. 
I can hear them in there arguing now. <laughs> One of them wanted to say Matt McConaughey. Oh, really? And the other two said The Rock. <laughs> That's now. funny. Okay. Um, we should ask them again, the final, for the third place. Because uh, you're going to say Eddie Murphy? No, I was going to say Matthew McConaughey. Well, I'm saying Matthew McConaughey, too. So I right, don't need to go run in there. Trying to make it again. somewhat interesting here, at least. <laughs> All right, Matthew McConaughey, Ooh. third. Eddie Murphy, fourth. Four. Uh, actually, can I get a drum roll, please? Okay. Um, Who do you got? You go first. Uh, these two. The Rock, Shaq. First off, who do you think would win in a fight? Oh, The Rock. He's a more wrestling. Yeah. In him, Shaq. I wonder who's uh, the Shaq's bigger, right? Yeah, Shaq's like what seven, twelve? Yeah, so eight. <laughs> seven, twelve. <laughs> no, he's not that big, Mark. He's like seven, no, two no, or three. No. <laughs> I was trying to say a big inch number, and then I realized it only goes up to twelve before you convert it into <laughs> another foot. Um. Uh, I'm going with Shaq here, Martin. Oh, because uh, okay. Here's my here's my response. Why? When you think of the Fast and the Furious saga, Ooh. there is a person on that cast that does not like The Rock. So I found one person that does not like The Rock. You're right. The Shaq. The Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal moves on for me and wins the most likely you're not even gonna get my vote bracket <laughs> dang all right looks like that's the end of that folks the shack won out of pure tyrannical uh voting there who are no you going for Mark? Whatsoever. i'm going with shack give me a vote okay thank you <laughs> shaquille uh, o'neal rocks the rim and wins the most likable lovable person bracket add some applause here by yours truly the red pegasus podcast shout that out to good. preston shout out to albert Shout out to Nathan. Shout out to the boys out in Crossbar, including Tom, co-owner. We love him. The Rock. Not The Rock. The Shack <laughs> moves the Shaq. on and wins. The Shack wins it all. All right. That was a good one. That was hard. That was tough. Let, let us know who you think uh, out of this group of 32 um, or set of 32. Yeah. Um, is your most favorable celebrity. Cool. Yep. Let us know. That's the end of the short. Peace out, people. Later.